it's a crazy process because we compete. I think we had seven World Cups, maybe a lot of World Cups before the Olympics, and you pretty much find out like a week before you leave or two weeks before you leave, like if you're on the <laughs> team or not. So, my strategy this year was just to try to treat it as a normal year and only like focus on my controllables. So I didn't want to like make a big deal out of competing. I just wanted to ski well. Um, and I think I did a good job of that. I think f on an Olympic year for any athlete, there's probably a lot of like subconscious like anxiety about making it. Um, so when I finally did learn that I was on the team, it was like a huge relief. And it was really surreal. Like the first week, my teammates and I who, who were going, it was like, we kept being like, is this like sunken yet? And it didn't really. Um, until, I, for me, until like, we got to Korea and kind of like got our opening ceremony the uniform and everything, and then it was like, wow, this is like actually happening, this is pretty crazy. I didn't really know what to expect because it was my first Olympics and I didn't know how I was going to react, but yeah, in those moments leading up to it, I was maybe like a notch or two more anxious than I normally would be, but it didn't really feel um, much different from a World Cup, and that was the goal, like I didn't want to change anything, so. Um, I just did my routine, you know, I like kind of pace around the starting area and just keep my mind clear. For the most part, you always know how you did unless like there's like a weird judging thing or something you didn't expect. So the qualifying day, I skied really well. And as soon as I crossed the line, I was like, that was awesome. Um, unfortunately, the finals day, I made a mistake on my bottom jump landing. So I came across the line and, and knew. Um, and the margins are so small, like a tiny mistake, um, just like one bad run, <coughs> it, it, you know, that's it for you.